Phil here again uh, with another video. Um, I wanted to put together a video of what I carry each and every day and uh, just basically go over uh, each item and why I carry each item. Please keep in mind, uh, as you've seen from other videos of mine, I'm a huge proponent for personal carry as long as you know what you're doing, you know your local laws, and you know uh, basically that you need to carry every single day to be effective. Uh, the one day that you don't carry is that one day something's going to happen and you're not going to be prepared. And that's basically what it comes down to, folks, is being prepared. So what I'm about to show you guys is what I carry each and every day. Uh, matter of fact, even in my PJs uh, around the house, I even uh, have one of them at all times, even in my PJs, which my wife kind of thinks I'm crazy, but at the same time, uh, I know that she enjoys it because she knows that she's safe. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get started. Um, let's start off with the biggest first. Uh, here I have my Glock 48 in my King Tuck holster. Uh, one of my favorite personal carry guns, uh, the Glock 48. You get the longer slide, uh, you get uh, the longer grip. Um, it is a, a great, great thin carry weapon in nine millimeter. Um, a lot of you guys out there, I don't know if you know this or not, but Hive actually uh, uh, provides a plus two and I believe a plus three um, in their newer models uh, that fit all of these Glock magazines. So basically, uh, I've got 13 rounds total between 12 in the magazine and one in the gun. Uh, again, uh, Glock 48, one of my favorite carry weapons. Uh, as you can see, it's super thin. Um, I did put the tritium night sights on it. Um, I uh, do the, the 25 cent trigger job. Um, I replace all of my triggers themselves. I hate the Glock factory triggers. Um, but, uh, and I put a three pound trigger bar in it. And other than that, on my day-to-day -day personal everyday carry weapons, I don't go much into lowering uh, the, the poundage on the trigger much more than that, just for safety. But again, great gun. Uh, my only complaint is, uh, as you should do often, going to the range, practicing with this gun. Um, the biggest part of it with this slide color, uh, it's a pain in the butt to clean. But uh, the uh, Graco King Tuck uh, holster is literally one of my favorite holsters out there. And trust me, I've tried the sticky holsters, um, all the Kydex, literally, this is the best hol holster for everyday carry. Um, again, I carry 365 days a year, t literally 20 hours a day, uh, but you can see it forms to your body, it's got leather, it keeps the gun um, off of your skin for the oils and the, uh, on your gun and, and vice versa for the oil getting on your skin. Um, but uh, the only thing with these uh, that I've noticed, and you'll see I'm missing one right here, is you've got to tighten these screws down periodically. Um, from just the twisting and pulling on and off at night, uh, they tend to get loose. But again, great holster, uh, they fit the gun well, you'll see uh, everything, trigger guards covered. The only thing that's really showing, uh, one of the other things I always put on my Glock, excuse me, I digress, um, is grip tape. Uh, a lot of these Gen 4, Gen 5s, they're getting better, but again, uh, the grip tape, especially in a everyday carry situation, um, your summertime, your hands are sweaty, nervous from being in a uh, situation where you have to pull your firearm, but uh, again, great setup, great combo. Um, my backup weapon uh, here is the Kimber Micro Carry in 380. Uh, this does not have the laser grip. Uh, the laser grip one, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the laser because if you're all the way down to just your backup weapon, uh, stopping and trying to see that dot wherever it is, not enough time. Um, in my life, I've had three situations where I've had to pull my firearm. Luckily, outside of the military, uh, I've never had to fire, and I'm extremely thankful for that. It is literally the last resort uh, that I want to get to, but at the same token, if it's between him or you or them or you, hey, it's got to be them. 
Uh, anyways, uh, the micro carry, um, an expensive gun as a backup. Um, the reason why I carry this, I've carried uh, the LCPs for years. I've got all three models. The first one, the number two with the red trigger, uh, the brand new LCP2. Um, I do have the laser on that one, I must admit, but uh, it was given to me, so I decided to throw it on there. But I decided to carry this Kimber Micro Carry in 380 uh, because I can shoot a lot better. The LCPs, I don't care, even in the, the new ones, it's a it's a 10 foot gun at most. And anybody out there, I'm sure, uh, you know, even uh, as you guys well know, I, I shoot competitive, uh, competitively, USPSA, Steel Challenge, three gun. I challenge somebody to hit something outside of that, you know, 10 yard range. Uh, but this, literally, I can get my hands up on it. Uh, it's very similar um, to some of my competition guns and feel. It does have a safety, uh, which I really like. Um, it's a sturdy gun. Uh, it, it holds up well in your pocket. It's the wood grips, the, the everything else. It literally is, for me, the perfect pocket gun. It fits in all of my cargo pants, even my shorts. Um, I never not have a backup weapon on me. And a lot of guys just carry one gun. For me, uh, I've never had this one fail on me, but um, if I can't get to it, if I'm in my truck, uh, no matter what I'm doing, I always have a backup gun. Uh, again, pretty much stock magazine. Uh, the case I have for it is the Range Max. Um, basically, there's a million of these pocket holsters. I like this one because it's a little bit more grippy. Uh, it covers the entire gun, including the trigger, which is super important for a pocket gun. Uh, but can't say enough about these Kimbo, uh, Kimber Micro Compacts. Um, like I said, a little bit more expensive for a carry gun or a pocket gun as a backup. But um, again, this is your life. So uh, we're spending a little extra money. Uh, my next item, uh, one of my favorites, my Benchmade Automatic. Uh, forgive me, I don't know the model right off hand. I've got so many of these dang things. Um, I kind of collect uh, uh, knives and um, before I couldn't afford Benchmade knives, but I will say with pocket knives, you literally get what you pay for. Uh, the steel on these, these are hardened steel. Uh, they hold an edge longer. Uh, for me, I like the automatic part of it. Um, it also has a little safety lock on the side. Um, so if you're nervous, I never usually worry about it. I've never had a problem with it uh, accidentally setting off in my pocket. Um, but again, I carry this every single day. And of all the items that I carry, literally, I use this more than any other uh, one of my everyday carry items. Uh, I get a lot of stuff for work. Um, a lot of plastic wrap, a lot of boxes, Amazon boxes, things like that. Uh, we live on a farm, so I cut bales of hay with it. Uh, I'm not kidding you. This thing gets more use than any other thing that I carry, but I highly, highly, highly recommend these Benchmade knives. They make a bajillion different sizes and models of them. Uh, I've got three or four of them myself. Love them. Uh, definitely something everyday carry. Even if you decide not to carry a firearm, at least, at least have a pocket knife with you. It's just something there that might deter that thief if you're in a dark alley or heading to your parking lot. Uh, female, women, exact same thing. You should always have a knife on you. Uh, make sure that you do have it on the locking mode if you carry it in your purse. That way you don't accidentally cut yourself. These are extremely sharp and stay extremely sharp as long as you take care of them. My next item, one of my other favorites, the Phoenix PD36R. Uh, this literally, I am, other than pocket knives, I am a flashlight uh, aficionado. And I have literally gone through them all. All the surefires, all the different ones out there, but the Phoenix PD36R, this is their new one. Uh, I've got a couple of their older ones, but I'm not joking. Uh, one of my absolute favorite everyday carry item, I use this probably second to the pocket knife. I use this literally almost every single day, looking down into motors, uh, engines there, some of our work vehicles, uh, definitely at night around the farm. Um, one of the things I really like about these, uh, they use a the specialized 3600 milliamp batteries. Um, it literally has uh, settings 
Um, I believe that one's on its second. It's got four settings. Um, the I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, the that's the lowest setting, and then next setting, next setting, next setting, and then the turbo setting. And I'm not kidding you. I can literally feel the heat on my hand right now, and I don't know how well that's going to come out on the camera. But literally, uh, I usually have it set on the low mode. But if I really want to pan across the yard or the pasture or the field, see if there's any coyotes out there, uh, literally, um, it is one of the brightest flashlights I've ever owned that's small enough to fit in your pocket. It's comfortable to fit in your pocket. You've got your reversible clip. Um, you can actually clip it onto your hat if you want to. Um, if you're out there working outside, um, it clips into your pocket. Uh, one of the best flashlights uh, I've ever owned and literally I've got a bunch of them or two or three of them uh, the batteries the specialized batteries I recommend buying a couple of them this one's got a USB-C charging port um, but it's always good to have a fresh battery I don't carry an extra battery with me because this will, will literally last as long as you don't have it on the turbo mode um, it'll literally last you a month just everyday use but uh, my next things here uh, Obviously, very, very important. A lot of guys don't do this, and I highly recommend it, especially if you're gonna go with the Glock 43, 48, um, uh, any of the X's in this uh, small, thin profile. Uh, again, these only hold 10 rounds, and I only have the one extended mag on the gun, but I do carry two, two extra magazines every day, and I never, ever forget them. Uh, basically, this gives you 30, uh, what is that, 33 rounds total with what's in the gun, with the extension and the two extra mags. Uh, again, I hope I'm never in an actual shootout, but it all comes back to being prepared. And if I'm lost up in the woods for whatever reason, no matter what I'm doing, where I'm at, uh, I have extra ammo. I always carry these with me. Cheap to get, inexpensive. Uh, to, to, to have around and definitely usable. Um, always keep an extra magazine as well. Seven round for my Kimber micro carry uh, in that 380. Uh, again, really important. I only carry one uh, extra mag with me since it is my backup. But again, very important to have extra mags with you. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, and uh, again, I'm not trying to show off, it's just this is my wallet and how I keep it. Um, I always keep my money, my wallet, uh, in one of my front pockets. I keep on my right side my carry weapon, and then my left side uh, I have my wallet. Uh, it's really important to keep uh, some cash with you. Uh, if your card isn't working, uh, the card is magnetized for whatever reason, um, it's really, really super important to always have a little bit of cash on you for emergency purposes. Uh, within here, I won't break this apart, but I've got my normal business debit and credit card. Uh, I've got a backup credit card. Um, my concealed weapons permits uh, are in here. Basically, everything that I need on a daily basis. Um, again, it's just basically your standard wallet. Uh, some of the ammunition that I carry. Um, I am a huge fan of the Hornady critical duty rounds. Uh, FBI did extensive testing on them. I know there's a million uh, tutorials out there on YouTube about this round. Um, again, one of my favorite things about it is that if you're shooting through stainless steel, windshields, glass, things like that, um, the, the tip of the round is designed not to open up until it hits uh, flesh. And to me, uh, if you're in your vehicle, you're shooting out of your vehicle, you have to shoot into a vehicle, you want a round that's not gonna splatter the minute that it hits that windshield or light sheet metal. Um, I carry it both in the 380 and the nine millimeter. Um, again, some of my favorite ammo. Uh, but uh, on top of all that, I always wear a hat. Luckily, I've got a job where I can wear a hat every single day. Um, again, it's kind of my signature thing in all of my videos here. Basically, I never not have a hat. Even when I'm laying in bed right before I go to sleep, I usually will take it off. But uh, my wife kind of teases me about it. But uh, anyways, uh, another thing, very important. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Oakleys. Um, they've got rubberized uh, grips on the side here, which basically when you're on your hat like this, uh, you can shake your head, work uh, in the house, around the house, if you're not wearing them. 
and literally they stay on your hat uh, they they are polarized so I love them for fishing and hunting and and basically uh, I never not have my glasses with me my eyes are kind of sensitive to light already so uh, again I have these with me at all times I'll show you guys here a little bit later what I look like with all of the gear that I had here on the table uh, basically wearing it um, I want to make sure it's a big part of it to where you experiment with different gear uh, different firearms, different holsters, different knives, different flashlights, things that work for your body style, your shape, your frame, your size, male, female. Uh, basically, you need to experiment because one size doesn't fit all. And the biggest thing with uh, personal carry and everyday carry of these items, it's got to be comfortable or you're not going to do it every day. And I can't stress enough the fact that you've got to do it each and every day because it's that one day where you walk out of the house ah I'm just going down to the grocery store I'm not gonna need my gun that's the time that somebody walks in you've got your daughter with you your son with you and then something happens and one of the things that I want to everyone who watches this video to take away anybody can go to the local gun store uh, well first go down to your your uh, sheriff's department or your city police department you get your concealed carry depending on which state that uh, you live um, you run down to the gun shop you buy yourself a gun you run down you buy a box of uh, ammo you go down to your local range you get a holster for it bang 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 uh, you shoot maybe a box at the range you throw it in your belt and you're off and running and now you're a concealed carry person uh, I highly, highly recommend that you go to a concealed carry class. I teach one here locally for absolutely free um, for friends and family. And if I get enough people that, that want to do it, uh, basically I put one together. But some of the things that, uh, some of the reasons why I do that is due to the fact that you need to know your state and local laws. Uh, you need to understand uh, where and how to carry a, a firearm safely. Uh, safely um, you need to practice with it you need to unload your gun uh, with the magazine inside but make sure it's unloaded and practice in different situations drawing it you know basically in real world situations uh, in my class I'll usually stand behind the students and I have two two by fours and I'll start uh, laying out a situation you know you're in a mini mart a uh, guy walks in he, he, he brandishes a gun, he points it at the, the cashier and asks for the money, and I start slapping the sticks together right behind him, and they don't know that I'm getting ready to do this. And every single one of them, guy, girl, doesn't matter, uh, young, old, all of them start jumping and flinching because they didn't expect it. I basically try to drill it into their minds that uh, that's just a fraction, a fraction of the adrenaline and the excitement and the and the, the nervousness of actually being in a situation where you have to pull your firearm. And I don't care if you're prior military, if you're a professional uh, uh, competition shooter, if you're not practicing with the exact gear that you're carrying every day, multiple times a week, and, and literally multiple times a week, you probably shouldn't be carrying uh, every single day. And uh, the biggest thing is in that situation, in Mini Mart situation, there's lots of glass, uh, there's lots of people, uh, there's a lots of uh, innocent targets that are out there. And if you don't know what you're doing, if you haven't practiced, um, you can actually make a decision that will literally change your life forever. The, the person that, you're, that you accidentally hit, uh, somebody's kid or something like that, it's literally that serious. So I think more sh people should be carrying every single day like I do, but with a, a big, huge asterisk, um, the right people carrying. Because if you don't know your laws, you can get in big trouble, uh, legal trouble. Um, we don't need any more exposure. We're already under attack uh, by people that are anti-gun. So to maintain our rights, we don't need any more accidental shootings. We need people out there taking the class, practicing, carrying the right gear, carrying the right gear for them, and being safe, bottom line. Make okay, uh, just wanted to show you guys where I keep everything. As you can tell, um, again, I'm very low profile. Uh, as I always mention to my students, 
Um, you want basically to not look like you've got a bunch of guns on you. Not only from a legal standpoint, so that you don't freak people out, uh, you know, walking around, you don't want your guns coming out and poking through and printing through your shirt. But uh, again, it is winter time where I live, but this is outside of my coat. This is what I wear every single day. Um, but just kind of basically starting, um, here's where I have my knife and my flashlight, uh, my backup magazines. I have my first one in my cargo pants, always pointed the right direction so I can throw my thumb on it and get it into the gun faster. Uh, my next magazine, again, is on this side. Um, on my other side, I've got my other Glock magazine pointed in the right direction. Um, in my right front pocket, I've got my Micro Carry 380. And then unzipping my coat here, uh, carry right here on my right hand side. So that just like how I win my competition, uh, boom, I can get it quick. But uh, again, I'm right here on the right hand side, low profile. These King Tuck holsters carry it, uh, keep it right next um, to your skin. But again, I'm out and boom, super, super fast. But uh, everything else, my wallet in my front left pocket and basically everything else I have on you. But I literally carry this exact same stuff 365 days a year. So when I'm out and about with the family with shorts on, I'll usually wear some kind of cargo short um, with a, a, an untucked shirt like this. But I literally carry every single thing that you see here on the table. But in the meantime, uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I enjoy the heck out of making them. God bless.